How's it going? This is Tim. Uh, we're on page 81 and it's part 18. This is the second last um, practice problem. Um, so this is, it looks complicated, but it's not really. We have a center cylinder and we have three arms that are coming off. It look, look like, looks like spaceship arms or something, but all you have to do is if we can draw one of these, it's just a simple matter of pattern, doing a circular pattern. So whenever you're doing, um, hold on for a second, my wife is making a racket painting the house. Let me close the door. Sorry, right, so you're always looking for patterns whenever you're doing SolidWorks parts. Like we have a slot here, a simple slot. You don't have to draw that three times. You draw it once, you pattern it, you use your circular pattern. So the first thing we want to do is we want to draw this, our, our um, cylinder. Now it's, let me have a look, it's a diameter. Let me get a new page going. I'm writing the numbers down. It's a diameter 90. Um, and the inner diameter is 60. And its thickness is 60. So we'll start with that. Look, I hope these tutorials are helping some of you learn SOLIDWORKS um, and my own students. Um, that's it. Uh, it's, it's a diameter 90, uh, diameter 60. Um, don't forget to learn AutoCAD because you need both of them. Um, do you know, they're both good software. Um, I'm going to be creating some new movies on something called Factory I.O. That's kind of where I'm spending most of my time at the moment. Factory I.O. is it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, we're using it in our capstone class. So anyway, there's our um, cylinder. Um, I think we want to draw... We'll get these... I see a draft here, a five-degree draft on one of these little arms coming out. Looks like an octopus arm or something. Um, so I need that radius 100, that's a, that's a circle that has a diameter of 200 and then we have a circle that has a radius, a diameter of 40 on it um, with a 5 degree draft. So um, we want it on this top face and I don't know what it is. I actually do. I do find doing these problems relaxing. I haven't done the, the, a lot of these in a while. So this is a diameter of 200 and we'll make it for construction. And we'll get a center line going. And this is diameter 40. Okay. Um, now that, um, I'm thinking that need, I'm thinking that needs to be extruded 10, 20 mid plane first. Um, when we get the, when we get the curves in, the radius 30s in, we may as well, um, is that, is that, I'm just, yeah, because we could get, if we get them in, um, we can extrude that at the same time. So uh, we need our three point arc. Something like that. Draw them in and then we'll get our tangencies going. I'll click on this and I'll go convert entities. Tangent tangent and what size is it it's radius 30 and that goes black happy days and then both these will make we'll make them equal okay um i wonder if i trim this now what is it that is going to be 20 mid plane
mid plane 20 okay and then um i feel like we want to extrude that again um we create a sketch on that face i'll draw another circle something like that um i'll make this and this equal and we want that to be now what extrusion is that that's an extrusion of 20 as well it's the i see the 60 here i know that's 20 they're both the same but this has a draft of five degrees something like that um and then my brain is saying let's mirror that across that face there something like that okay and if i do a sketch on here i'll be able to i'll be able to get the insides of it the guts of it something like this and i need a center line from there um i have the 20 oh lord uh, the 20 see this is um look this is a five degree but i'm assuming that's five degrees as well um okay that might not be the way to do it um no i'm gonna go back let's delete that sketch and let's let's go here to this and let's add that 20 in right now that 20 like so okay that's, there's no worries that's what i want and then let's um add that 20 in there as well convert entities now if i do a section there is that what i want yeah that's uh, that's kind of what i want i think there uh, my feeling is there could be more dimensions on that You're, i'm having to assume that that's a five degree draft um that that really is i feel like that's missing an old dimension and then we come down here and we have that that's one of the arms um now um if i do a, a circular pattern and i want it around that and i want this and that and that uh, but i only want three of them boom there i have that now um if i that's that that's the pattern there i think now i want to get one of these um slots going 30 radius 6 um if i click on this front plane and i go sketch a lot of you probably think you need to create another plane out here and extrude it towards it but now you can use these front top and rights all the time um i'm going to get sorry what am i doing here straight slot um let's use this second one one two three now the length of it is is 30 and the radius is six so this is 30 um the radius is six and it goes black i'll extrude cut flip it in the diff in, a, in a different in the different other direction and now i have my nice little slot there i'll go back to my circular pattern And that's it how much time is this one um anyway don't worry about it 
we got that um is there anything else not too hard look i think i'm even going to do this one next um i'm going to do it right away so number 19 um what you do with this is you're going to come up here to 1060 aluminum evaluate mass properties there you go um 1023.34 all right look um that wasn't too hard we have one more to go um hope you're all doing all right um talk to you later